voila, you have now a video. So here you can make it big or small, anything you like. So if you're wondering why I'm not there yet, again, so click that again, the video, the Logi, because that's what I named after my camera. And you can actually take a look on it because there is like... So hey great friends, this is Logan the Great and I think today is very important or I mean marami na kasi if you are watching my live streaming guys if you could still um, remember gumagalaw kasi yung background ko my background is moving and some or of my friends are asking how did I do that and I think it's easier if I will make a video like this so that you will know how I have done it so it's very easy you only need one thing to connect your OBS OBS to your StreamYard okay once again OBS plus StreamYard equals equals boom okay so let's start with um, here um, in the shall we say in Google you need to look for the OBS studio like here but don't you worry because you're watching this video you can check the link down there I will put the link for this um, installer that I used to so download the install OBS installer this software kasi yun yung kailangan natin once you download it I will not download it again because I've done it already I have already so um, okay I think once you install it just install it and then just click or follow the links and agree 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 and once you're done you're there so you can get inside the OBS so shall we say we're here now in OBS so this is this will or this is how your OBS looks like okay so if you could check in here I have a lot seen AOT greetings because I prepared already a lot of my um, for example my streaming video greetings so if I have some video greeting I just click this greetings and there you go there's me okay and uh, for example for the live streaming so I have some background and I put some of my face down there if I wanted to so for this tutorial we will be making a new scene name I named it tutorial so this is tutorial here in the scenes and if you could take a look it's empty because there's nothing yet there we were um, not able to um, not nalagyan ng anything dyan. so first things first nandito na tayo sa scene 1 na yan, so tutorial and it's up to you if you want to name other names it's okay so here first things first you need to add your camera because I think that's the one thing that kung gusto niyo ng camera, kung gusto niyo magpakita, pero kung hindi, it's okay also. Pero I'll teach you how to do it because shall we say you really wanted to show yourself. So first is the camera, and there. So once again, let's go back here and then video capture device. So that's the thing that you need to click it video capture device and it's okay what you want to name after that it's okay but for me I have already the Logitech so I need to check add lo existing but if you don't have one um, so <clears throat> I mean the existing will not be there because it's new it's fresh so you can create by yourself so normally you will be prompted which camera you have like for your notebook for your but for me, I have the Logitech because I'm using desktop and um, so Logitech is my extra camera for my desktop, okay? So click it and here you go, I'm here. So from here, I can like move myself from here to here to here, whatever you want. So shall we say, just, I'm sorry with this thing, there's a thing here because that's the from I'm recording right now with my using my phone so yeah okay next is actually you can do like this bigger smaller whatever size you want so if you are 
thinking, why is my background? It's like nothing is there. It's empty because of the green screen. So you need to click the load the capture, the video capture device, and then click filter. And from here, you can add this one. Look for the chroma key. Chroma key, this one. And I have it already. So normally when you click it, so you will be prompt with this one. So take a look on this. This is actually my real thing. Like my green screen is at the back of me. So it sh you, sh you need to have a green screen or anything. Green screen is the best. So now how to reduce it? Like you need to drag this bar going there going there and when it should be it looks like this like this one it's like take a look at my back you cannot see anything down there right so i think that's the best um settings for your camera and when you say click close so you will be looking like this after that one so if you really wanted to have if you wanted to have a background like not moving you can click image so click image and look for a shall we say uh, where should i look for a background so normally you will see it where you mm -hmm. so i have here for example so for example this one okay so this will be my background just click ok and just drag it there and you need to so you cannot see yourself so you need to move the camera this arrow arrow up and i'm here or you can get arrow down so you will not be there okay so that's how the not moving background but what if you wanted to have a moving background so click the plus sign again and click the media source okay this is the media source so it's okay if you want to name anything so i for example video put the video down there and then browse where is it located and for example i have here mine like my filmora i'll put um so here I will be choosing this for example uh, my first snow for example just for example okay and you need to click loop because when the video is finished so it will just automatically play by here his by its own okay so click loop and voila we have now a video so here you can make it big or small anything you like so if you're wondering why I'm not there yet again so click that again the video the logi because that's what I named after my camera and you can actually take a look on it because there is like photo like this one is in photo this one is camera this is play so you can distinguish so make your camera Either you click this up on down or you just drag it up and voila, I am here. Okay, so now you are ready as in super duper ready and you are ready to go to StreamYard and make this happen. Okay, so next is you really need to check if there is a virtual camera on your OBS and here take a look at this like controls in the controls start streaming if you wanted to stream using your OBS start recording if you want to record on your OBS virtual camera studio mode settings and exit okay so but we are using start virtual camera because this is um, shall I say this is the main reason that you are using OBS to be the virtual camera of uh, to your stream yard and yeah so start virtual camera start and you need to go to your stream yard so stream yard.com broadcast so, okay so normally so when you get inside here 
um, in your StreamYard. So since our, take a look on this one, the virtual camera is on already. So when you go to your StreamYard, this will how it looks like automatically, okay? So, but if not, so you need to go to your common mic settings and there's only like how many options if there are a lot more cameras on your computers or laptops. So you will be prompted as well, but you need to click the OBS virtual camera. Click that one and after that one so you're ready to go and you have your um obs working already with you and so when you are there enter the broadcast and add stream so voila so you're here already so if you really wanted to like for example if you want to hide yourself so if you just want to show your background so you can put your camera capture down, move arrow down, and only this one will be shown in your StreamYard. So, isn't it great? And isn't it very easy? And yeah, because before I really wanted to have like um, when my when my my background is moving, it looks a little bit like you know. It looks different and interesting compared when your background is just a photo or a thumbnail so yeah so as easy as that you have now your moving background in your StreamYard using OBS okay so I hope everybody got a nice day today and you learned something so thank you so much for watching my tutorial and if you want to know more about this kind of tutorial please let me know and if you have a lot more questions about this go comment down in the comment section below okay and i am very eager to answer all of your questions down there and if you are not yet subscribed with my channel please do so if you have facebook instagram twitter on TikTok, you can follow me at Lloyd Integrates, the same name, okay? And I hope everybody's doing well today. Once again, this is Lloyd Integrates. Stay great, people, and ciao.